22 mils of pen. So let's look at this real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Probably last stand, although the torpedo skills on this boat, probably worth it. Yeah, that's that's probably worth it. Uh, that's prob well, the extra smoke. The extra smoke could be big. And then I want, it's for a moment actually, I wanna see what this does. Okay, that's gonna get me what kind of pen? 27. Do you need IFHEs on IFHE on the 133s? I feel like you do. What do you think, chat? What's up, PJ? I feel like I feel like AFHE on these guns is worth it. I want to know what you guys think. Well, it cuts my fire chance in half. I can recover half of that back, right? I lose I go from 8% to 4%, and then I can get back 1% with Demolition Expert and uh, another 1% from Flags. Not at Tier 6. Now, remember, I'm going to get up Tier to Tier 8 from time to time. I feel like the 27 mils is worth it. Because now I'm now I'm pinning all the heavy cruisers that I'm going to be up against, too. Right? Hipper and Baltimore. Harlem. Should be Harlem. Hmm... Yeah, I think I think I think I'm gonna try it. Let's 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 assume for now that I need it. I think I need 16 points for the build that I want to try. I think that's the right way to do this. Although, oh, I'm not gonna have adrenaline rush. I'd really need 19 points, don't I? Yikes, that feels bad. All right, do I have? What's it gonna take me to get to 19 points? A lot. I'm not spending that on a tier six. Do I have another captain? Let's see if I've got another. I think I've got another captain laying around. I can just respec him over here. Uh, let's change my commander. Yeah, for some reason I have a 19 point guy spec for my tier one cruiser. That feels dumb. So let's just steal him. Congratulations, you're my new dude. All right, um, we wanted to do not you, probably this. This. What does that get my reload down to? Okay. And then what's the range on these? Nine and a half. And then full stealth rig. I'm not quite there yet. I'll figure it out in a minute. All right. Uh, we want to drill and rush these two, those two, and probably I'm thinking focus fire. I'm thinking focus fire. I'm going to invest in the AA. I want focus fire. No, the demolition expert. Dirt. I do want focus fire, but I don't have the points for it. Okay, that's fine. That's going to have to do against tier six carriers and against tier eight carriers. I'll just be on the struggle bus a little bit. Okay, let's get some camo on this thing. Do, 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 do. All right, so we want fire chance. We want defensive fire. Reload. Speed. AA. Let's not blow up. Better cooldowns. Smoke duration doesn't get me anything. I want all of this, or at least I want the last three. And because we're grinding, we want all of this, except for this guy. I'm not wasting that on a standard tech on a standard tech tree ship. Then we want to come back here and do some of this and some of that. No, I want to do that and then this guy. There we go. Oh, I can only take one. That's right, I can only take one. Well, in that case, take that volunteer flag because it looks prettier than the the other one. There we go. All right, now let's put some camo on this thing right here and right there. All right, so I have a nine kilometer detection, nine and a half torpedo range, 34 knots. AA is decent. Two flak puffs feels bad. I'm really going to miss. Oh, man, I'm going to miss that two points of, fo of focus fire for AA. All right, I think we're there. We've done flags, we've done modules, we've done captains. Let's do it. What's up, Light Wraith? Are you serious, PJ? Makes sense. I mean, I get it, but... <sighs> All right, let's play this game. First time in Ramat. Um, the Pan-Asian ships... To Jurassic Park. Can of corn, thank you for the follow. The Pan-Asian ships still leave a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. And, um... I'll, I'll tell you why, if I can remember the whole story. Back when the Pan-Asian destroyers came out, I was um, the lead editor on the wiki team for Wargaming. This was back, I think the team was still in Emeryville, or they had just moved to Austin, something like this. I'd have to check that. I see tier eight. Um, and so uh, we had, I had uh, 
drawn up a beautiful um, Ships of Panasia page that detailed, you know, gave a little three paragraph summary of each of the different navies, you know, the the Indonesian Navy and the Taiwanese Navy and the Korean Navy, uh, the, the Chinese Navy, of course, PLAN ships are in there as well. Um, ooh, standard battle. All right, that gives me some hope. Um, and um, so I, I had done all of this, and then we had started in There's on the ships. It's now, one of the... Oh, why is that not showing? Hold on. There we go. One of the things that we had started doing, or that I had started doing, was... I really enjoyed, um, and we had done this, I think that's, this was the first, yeah, the Pan-Asian Destroyer Line was the first line, the first national line that um, was comprised of ships from a lot of different nations. First first tech tree. So what I had done was, you know, when you go to the wiki page, um, in the, and there's a little top box that has the name of the ship, the tier, the type, and then the little written description, you know, you know, laid down 1932, you know, seven of these were built, that kind of thing, right? And, um... The um, what I had done was each of these little national flags, right? Because you can get the Taiwanese flag or the Korean flag or the Indonesian flag or whatever. I had put those flags in the description so that as you went through the line, you'd know what nation that ship belonged to. It was more of a just a, a for fun and games for funsies kind of thing, but it looked pretty. Oh, I see Striker uh, uh, sink dropping me down there, the team, and um. It gave the pages a little more, a little more flair, a little more pop, a little more color. It was nice. I liked it. And then, and then, we had started working on. Ooh, good torpedo angles. We had started working on the um, histories of each of the ships, right? Because uh, of course they all have their own, you know, service histories and blah blah blah. blah. Well, somewhere along the way, we got sixty-five percent done with working on these ship pages and doing what we were going to do, and. The orders came down from St. Petersburg that we had to scrub the entire official Wargaming wiki of, like, all references to Taiwan. Um, you know, Republic, we couldn't use the, we couldn't say Taiwan, we couldn't say Republic of Taiwan, we couldn't say, I was like, what is this garbage, guys? What is this? There was a little mini revolt amongst the wiki staff. We were all of us to a man, absolutely, well, and woman. There were some, there was quite a number of women on the team, furious absolutely furious like what is this trash um and so in protest we basically deleted um all of it we deleted every everything but the like how to play the ship all the histories everything was just removed we, we wiped it all out we're like forget it they don't no ship in this line will get a history they won't get a description that was our little way of protesting like forget it we're done you get a how to play the thing and we're finished here um Finally, about two years, and, and the, the thing that blew my mind, they were like, oh, well, we don't want to, you know, I understood the idea was, well, we don't want to, we don't want to anger our Chinese player base. I was like, guys, your Chinese player base is not going to go to the e, the Ian Wiki. It's on the other side of the Great Firewall. They're not allowed to see it anyway. So you're cleansing crap from a website that the people you're trying to, you're trying not to offend can't even get to. Are you stupid? Oh, I was furious. We were all of us just raging. Um, it was bad for a while in the old in the old wiki Discord. Let me tell you, it was bad. So um, I'm I'm glad that that they they did finally reach a point where that has all kind of cooled. We were able to go back in and, and fix things up and put it right. But it was just like for a time, it was a serious sore point. Let me tell you. Now there's a destroyer over here somewhere. What is this Fiji doing? Is he trying to come into the gap? Now, to my, now I have deep waters. These will hit cruisers, right? Yeah, my deep waters will hit regular cruisers. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Okay, he's turning so that that won't be a thing per se. Zaku, thank you for the follow. Or thank you for the resub. I apologize. Thank you for the resub. Oh! Oh, Sinop wiped that guy out. Goodness gracious. And then the CAG wiped out the sign up. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. How are we doing? Big in with the resub. 38 months. Goodness gracious. It's, it's, it legit blows my mind sometimes to remember how long I've been doing this for. Right? 
I passed my four-year streaming anniversary last fall. When Zath and I do King of the Sea, Zath and I, four years of King of the Sea is this month for Zath and I. King of the Sea 5 was four years ago. It was February of 2018. Like yeah, keep your eyes open. He's down here somewhere. Yeah, that's the Heinrich thinking he's going to delete me. Let's see how good his aim is. Not very good. All right, now the Benson backed off. I can see his torps, though. Thank you, Mc thank you, Mackinson. Mackinson? McKinson? Whatever it is. Gucci, Gucci. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> dude. Gucci, Gucci. Your battleships are leaving you to die, sir. Ah, oh, dang it. The Hydra ran out. That's all right. I'll have him on the surface here in a minute. And I know his torpedo reload is garbage. I know his torpedo reload is trash. Let's get up here and assassinate him, shall we? What is with the reload on these guns? Push him, McKenzie. Mackie. Mackie, I like it. Mackie it is. Push him, Mackie. I know your torpedoes are down, sir. You have nowhere to you have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Yeah, you're in you're in real trouble now, dude. Thank you for the smoke, by the way. Appreciate you leaving me this American smoke. This is gonna be super handy when I want to when I want to start trying to kill these battleships. Uh, much better. Oh man, these shells are floaty. Boy, Atlanta, this ain't. Now Heinrich's got hydro as well, don't he? Try the AP. I'm curious to try the AP. Yeah, our Mackie is dead. Hi, Striker. How you doing, buddy? Ooh, the AP works. Nice. That was a good hit. Oh, the CAG is leading them. Okay. gonna hurt yeah that's all right it is what it is he's, he's gonna fuck up my hair uh, much better striker's problem is he's gonna struggle he's gonna struggle to know how deep this smoke is Protection on the guns. Okay, hold on. All right, Striker. Let's see who wins our little engagement. Did you turn fast enough? You did. Well done. You jerk. You big meanie. I hope this Benson kills you. Since you came all this way to hunt me down. <laughs> oh, DJ. <laughs> Serves you right, Striker. Serves you right. <laughs> Bladeshi, that's a weird comment, man. That's how we do it. Yeah, what now? What is my detection in smoke again when firing my guns? I gotta I gotta learn that. Ship needs hydro. I don't understand why they made this line of ships without hydro. 
4.3. Okay, so I was right there to hold my fire. Okay, that's good to know. I still, I still don't understand why they do these ships don't have hydro. That just feels really, really bad. Um, I got good work out of the torpedoes, which was good. I feel like that's something you have to do to have a good game in these ships. Wow, this Kagero. Look at the look at the brass balls on this guy. He's gonna land maybe one of these on this Vlad. Nope, Vlad's gonna Vlad's gonna coast in between. Check that out. Look at that. Look at that. Well played. And now we're capping. That feels good. Both teams on two destroyers and two battleships. The difference is our battleships are kind of relevant and their battleships kind of aren't. And our Moss is capping. Neither of their destroyers is in a position to do anything about it. It means this Turpitz is going to have to turn around and basically drive into the cap circle. The Benson is going to be able to run this CAG down. This ought to be fun. I gotta say, if I'm the Vlad, I'm going Kagero hunting. I'm loading the HE and I'm going Kagero hunting. Now, admittedly, he knows... There he goes. Player 2 has entered the chat. I was like, he knows the Benson is coming. Now his secondaries and the Benson are both in on the gig. So this should be fun. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Carmel, thank you for the follow. Feels like you screwed up, screwed this up, Kagero. Feels like you screwed this up, especially now that you're on double fire. Benson kills the Minsk in smoke. Might get a double strike if he times these shells right. I think he missed his window. Yeah, he would he'll he have come close to double strike, but he isn't quite going to quite get it. There it was. Oh no! Slow down! Slow down! There you go. Yeah, look at that. That was it. Was torpedo real? Benson had a Kraken. Look at this dude. Take one of these. Take one of those and get out of here. Zach, thank you for the follow. So yeah, um, Ramat, I, I think I, I think I like it. Um, difficult to say based on only one game, but certainly a uh, a good a, a nice a decent showing for game one when from bottom tier. I would have preferred it, of course, had I not died. But once you're point blank with a battleship in one of these cruisers, it's them or you, basically. There is no middle ground. Well, and we're going to cap out. That's going to be a win. <laughs> I am not repeating that on stream, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, no, the Turpits. Oh, they're getting resets on the Flandre. That's what it is. I was like, why are they not capped yet? The Moss is still accruing points. The Flandre is the one taking the resets. There we go. There it is. No, Striker, you could have gone north. So, Striker, you could have kept going north, right? You chose not to, which honestly for you was probably the right play. You, you, I mean, if you had the the Heinrich was would have charging me would have been the better play because he's doesn't he have, he's got hydro, doesn't he? Does 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 Heinrich get hydro at tier seven? I can't remember the line. They do, right? Don't they start getting hydro at tier six? Yeah, I know they do. Mackens, yeah, the, the Mackenzie has hydro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The Heinrich putting up his Hydro and charging me was the better play, but he kept going north. And so I was like, all right, well, and then you turned and charged me and I was like, all right, well, you know, like the, the other, the only other, the only other play that I had was I had been using the smoke you saw me in was the smoke of the Benson that I killed. My smoke was available, but in a minute, there's not much point in me popping smoke because in a minute you're going to be too, you're going to have me on a uh, hard lid on the surface anyway. Like, like right on. So it was it was better for me to just say, screw it, turn my engines on and, and you know, see what I could get out of the torpedoes. 